Hello! Welcome to another action-packed episode of Cooking with MFB. Get ready! Tonight, we're making ramen. That real stuff, too. Let's real start with ramen. the broth, because that's going to take the longest. Let's get some chicken breasts and some onions and stuff cut up. I just forgot to tell you to cut that. Cut that stuff up! Got some carrots in there, too. Celery! Celery is going to go in there, too, you know. It ain't a party until take a... Some like medium high heat. One of these big deep deal. Look how deep it is. So we're getting ourselves a big old hump and glob of this bacon fat. I'm gonna put it in there. I need two hands to do it because it's a little bit of garlic, a little bit of ginger. Frying it in there. We're some semi frozen chicken breasts that I've sliced into medallions. And we're gonna throw those in there. A couple drops of this will do you just. Now, the roommates had this leftover fat that they were using for marinating some bulgogi. So I told him, keep that. I'm going to use that. So let's toss that in there. Oh. Rosemary! We got ourselves some soy sauce here. We're going to be generous about it. Be up in there to win there. That's about good. Oh, oh yeah, it's looking good, guys. I think it's time for our vegetables. Oh, how did jalapeno get in there? Oh, jalapeno fairy That's in there. Through. We're going to win there. Let's stir it up. We need two hands. Don't that we? is starting to warm up. We're going to need something else to cover that so it all cooks and it all melts together and becomes amazing. Oh! Look at that! So, you're going to take a couple of these chicken bouillon cubes. I took like five. And put them in like four I cups bet. of water. You can't guess what's Whoa, happening next. So wrong! Unless you guess I drink a beer. And you're right. Now Very you can put right. put that in there. Don't worry about them bouillon cubes. They will dissolve Let's into the Let's season this thing because we need some more seasons in there. Another bit of rosemary. Oh, a couple bay leaves. A little yeah. bit of oregano. Yeah, there's a little some pepper, you know, you gotta pepper it up a little, a little salt. Bit. So I'm gonna take that heat, put it back up to medium. And look at that amazingness. That's gotta boil for like, I don't know, some hours. Yeah, I said hours. Now you're probably thinking, man, it's gonna boil for hours. All that nice chicken texture and all these onions and the peppers are just gonna be mush. Yeah, I know. But what that'll do is that's gonna blend all of this together. All of it. It's gonna taste amazing. It's just patience. Boy, That's the you're gonna part. see this fat that rises to the top. Do you want to get rid of that? Just get rid of that. Well, we got ourselves some hours we gotta worry about. You know, we're, we're gonna, gonna make a peach cobbler thing. At least I know I am. <laughs> we got ourselves one half cup flour. Let me throw that in there. Let it hang out for a little bit of cinnamon. Some brown sugar. A whole bunch of cold butter. A little bit of salt. We're gonna mix that up with one of these fancy things. Go buy one, they're expensive. Do you it. Wanna now. Mash it. So you got something that looks like that. That is a crumbly texture that we're, we're going to put one cup of rolled oats into here and we're gonna fold it over. Don't get your hands in there too much. You're gonna melt. Now will you just look at that? That is looking like that is gonna taste good after about an hour. Alright, while you guys are watching that last little video, I was chopping up these peaches. It's like four cups of peaches. I'm gonna put that into this thing. You guys know what's next. This we stuff. are gonna take. We're gonna put it on this. Oh, but I need two hands. I'm gonna sprinkle it on. Sprinkle it. That looks good. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press it down. Get it all even because that. I don't know why, but it's going to be good anyway. going there. Let's put her in for like 30 minutes. See where that gets us. All right, it's about time to start fishing all them unsavory things that you probably don't want to chew on out of all your All right, so we got this in the oven, man. It is baking at 350 degrees for about, I don't know, like another 10 minutes. We have removed the unsavory sauce. She's looking about ready. We need to make some noodles. To make a good ramen, you need a high alkalinity noodle so your noodle doesn't fall apart in the juice. Otherwise, you'll crap. just have... You'll have crap! You don't want crap in your bowl! So, how are we going to do that? I'm sure a bunch of you people might have one of these laying around somewhere. You can take a half a cup of that, put it in the oven for 250 degrees, and bake it for about an hour. Well, that baking soda, while it's baking, it changes from bicarbonate to something else, and the alkalinity goes up, and boom! You got high alkalinity. 
you would mix it with a half a cup of warm water once you had like two tablespoons of that good stuff. Maybe two teaspoons, I can't remember correctly. But we're not doing that here. Here on Cooking with MFB, we're going a little weird, a little different. We're using some alkaline water. Ah. This water happens to be black. I wonder if it's going to turn out into the noodles. Enough shitting around. We got three cups of flour. We're putting that in there. We got ourselves one cup of our alkaline water. We're gonna put that in Turn there. Up. Just mix it right on up. Don't be afraid. It's gonna After get messy. some mixing, you're gonna find yourself with this mess. It's not quite lumpy, it's not quite a dough. You're gonna have to beat it. And it's probably to gonna be the part where you start cussing at me. You're gonna wanna form this thing into a ball. It's not gonna wanna go into a ball. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna need this. Roll it into a nice ball and knead it again and beat it up for five minutes straight. It's once you've kneaded this thing into a nice, tense, hard-ass ball of dough, we're going to cover it with plastic and let it sit for a half an hour. At room temperature for one half an hour. Just let it hang out. Go do something else like check on Don't go that opening problem. it. You want to look through the viewing glass. They installed that fucking thing for a reason. What are you looking at? I think it's ready to open it then. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. You're not going to see any more no, of that. We want something to put on top of our ramen when we get around to that moment, so let's marinate something for a minute. We got a chicken breast, you know, you breast up the chicken. Oh, a little ginger, a little garlic to accompany that. A little lime juice goes in there. And squeeze it up in there, you know, get that lime juice in there. It's a win there. Got ourselves a little sesame oil in there, just. Put yourself a little bit of sriracha in there, you know, you know, it's ra 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 sriracha. A little bit of soy sauce in there. I think that's about it. We're real close to being good. We're going to let that sit in for about, uh, I don't know, we're about an hour. We're going to put a touch of sweet into it. A little brown sugar goes in there. We have got that, that chicken in the bag. We're going to let that hang out. We got ramen We've to let our dough sit for about a half an hour. Our gluten has gotten complex. We need to recomplexify the gluten. We're this gonna beat this like thing it. up again. Let's put it down I here. I have broken a sweat. This fucking dough is gonna be great, though. I beat the f out of it. I beat the fuck out of it. Cover that thing in plastic again and put it in the fridge for an hour. Now where were we? Oh yeah, we Our were dough doughed for like an hour in the fridge. I think it's time to divide it up into like six pieces. We have divided and conquered the dough. Well, we haven't conquered it yet. We've just divided it. But you get what I'm feeling. Remember to flower your surface. Work these things out into a small plate-like thing. Then we're going to take our roller pin to it. But we want to sort of go for like a square-like thing. Now, suppose if you had one of them pasta extruders, you could use that. But we're cooking with MFB. We don't do shit like that around here. We're doing get it, it into a rectangular shape. And then get it as thin as you can get it. Looking like an eighth of an inch. We Something have like gotten that little ball of dough into this sheet of dough. She's thin. Oh, I'm We excited. are going to attempt to cut these things into the skinniest, straightest lines that we can do. We don't have to worry about straightest lines, but the skinniest lines you can go for. Now we could just try to freehand each and every one of these and fuck up the whole thing. Or we could roll this into one roll and cut them into nice little pieces. What do you think we're going to do? We have gingerly rolled that thing up. You see what I did there, ginger? <laughs> Anyways, we roll that thing up. It's time to it smoke like took a little thing. bit, but we got the DJ who lives upstairs to stream downstairs. We've got a pot of water ready to boil. We have sliced a whole bunch of noodles. Things almost turned tits up, but we don't roll it. them things up. Unless you flour Now, we're not them. just throwing away that broth. We worked really fucking hard to save that broth and work on that broth. We're gonna save it's it. awfully hot. I got a chicken breast over here. I think we're going to combine We want to blacken it up a little bit. Get it nice and crispy. The water's still boiling, isn't it? We got a chicken under there. It's Boil your noodles. Up. However long it may take. It may take uh, two minutes. Depending on the thickness of it. They don't want you to tune into the next episode of Cooking with MFB. They don't want you to. But you got it!